Behind the Headlines. The Central African Economic and Monetary Community, CEMAC, was formed by heads of states of Central African region to ease the movement of people and goods in the region. That was 20 years ago, but these days, many people from the six member states are unhappy about the way CEMAC operates. Integration just isn't working, or it's happening very slowly. From Yaoundé, Moki Kinzeka reports. Close to 50 million people make up the Central African Economic and Monetary Community, CEMAC. They generally believe that integration has stagnated within the six countries, namely Gabon, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, the Republic of the Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. They believe that free movement of persons and goods has remained only at the level of intentions and ambitions ever since the sub-regional economic bloc was created 50 years ago at the dawn of independence. Talking to people in Yaoundé, I found much mistrust surrounding the goal of integration. We have seen the case of Equatorial Guinea. Several times many Cameroonians have been killed there, which implies that they preach it, but they don't really apply it. They still need to reinforce their policies. It's good. It's a good idea because it's going to promote so many things. Integration within the CEMAC zone is still a far-fetched dream. If you imagine that for people within the CEMAC zone to move, they need visas. You hear of borders being closed, like it's often the case between Cameroon and the Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon and Gabon. You hear of citizens of other countries chased out, countries within the CEMAC zone. CEMAC officials say these challenges are as a result of the geographic nature of the sub-region. Carlos Bonfim, director of macroeconomic policies and trade at CEMAC, told me that a history of conflicts in the sub-region has distracted attention from integration. There is an absence of roads linking the states which reduces exchanges between the people. There is also national egoism which makes some states to think that they can survive on their own. And since the 1990s, there is also a multiplication of conflicts in Central Africa and the countries are busy settling conflicts instead of focusing on economic integration. Experts have mentioned that the six nations have found it difficult to foster integration because the sub-region has two economic bodies, the Economic and Monetary Community of Central African States, CEMAC, and the Economic Community of Central African States, ACAS. Joseph Barichako of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa thinks this is why the region has remained behind. Since they are working on the same program, it means that they are wasting resources and time. The region is not advancing too well as uh, the other sub-region of the continent. They have to put in practice what the heads of state have decided. The objective of the African Union is to move to one economic community for the continent around 2028. The Director of Cooperation and Integration at CEMAC, Chantal Elombat, believes that with the institution of a CEMAC passport, the region has brighter prospects. There are these four countries, Cameroon, Central Africa, Chad and Congo Brazzaville, that no longer ask for visas. And we have some other countries which are not against the principle, but who are concerned about security for their territories. El Lombard believes that Africa's better days are ahead, but require political will from the leaders. I believe it's good to be optimistic. There are blockages, difficulties, but I think that step by step we will get there. All of Africa in a not too distant future will be able to do business together. People will be able to move at will, and I think that's how Africa will develop. CEMAC was created by heads of state of Central Africa to promote regional and economic cooperation and to ease the movement of people and goods in the sub-region as a means of boosting economic growth. It remains to be seen whether it will achieve this goal. Our correspondent in Yaoundé, Moki Kinzeka.